Well, with the state tournament just around the corner, this week's Endangered Indiana will evoke a little nostalgia for some of us older folks. The Shields Memorial Gymnasium in Jackson County, nothing short of a relic, a humble reminder of the Hoosier hysteria of old. A time so incredible in small town Indiana, even Hollywood decided to make a movie about it, and people have been talking about it ever since. Around Indiana reporter Mary Rachel Redmond has more from Seymour. It just sits there, empty. The more time that passes, the less and less residents know or even care what this abandoned building is or once was. It's been here for a long time, and as you look around, you realize uh, the history uh, of what all happened here, you know, the games. Right back with it, and this one's gonna go down to the wire. Shields Memorial Gym is an iconic Indiana throwback. A nod to what some might call the gilded era of Hoosier hysteria. 1,241,000 spectators have thrilled to Hoosierland's favorite sport. This was really the, the lifeblood of this community in terms of recreation and just entertainment for, uh, for small town uh, Indiana. A time when young, old, and in between flocked to high school gyms by the hundreds and in some cases even thousands for the social event of the week. When I was playing ball here I, as a kid, I thought the whole world was watching us. The whole town uh, was involved in our basketball team. And no one knows what it was like to lace them up here the better than I this guy. Remember the most, that's where I hit those two free throws to tie the game up. Baron Hill will be at the line with two. Most Hoosiers identify Baron Hill as a U.S. congressman, but in Jackson County, Baron Hill is a basketball legend. There's a shot put up by Baron Hill, bouncing good. Jesus. The students sat over here, and the old timers sat on the other side. And according to Hill, not too much here has changed. I mean, it's a little dirtier now and it has graffiti on the walls and it doesn't uh, have that uh, pristine look that it had when I was playing basketball, but it's still the same, same gym. The fundamentals are all still here in place. The final game played at Shields Memorial Gym was in 1970 and believe it or not, still here in this gym, the original hardwood floors over 50 years ago. In 1970, our basketball team was undefeated that year, a second ranked uh, in the state of Indiana. We played the final game here in this gymnasium, so a, a lot of memories. But if we can do something to save this place, I think it would be great not only for nostalgic guys like me, but for the community as a whole. Because uh, everybody can understand that there is a connection here with everybody in our community. And preserving this place preserves the connection that we have to this place. And that's the reason why it's so important for communities. Yes, I did serve in Congress and I traveled all over the world, uh, but there's no place like home and there's no place like the memories that I have here.